Hello, lovies, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be bringing you guys a queen size bed that I'm making for my daughter. And some of the items I'm going to be bringing to you guys along the way, but the ones that I'm working with right now is this felt from Walmart, my drill that I purchased at Home Depot, a pencil, a stapler, staples, some screws, and I'm also going to be using this wood right here, this hardwood board, which came in a sheet of four feet by eight foot, and I just had them to cut it down to size. So without further ado, let's get started. But by the way, lovies, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and the bell so that you can be notified of future uploads. So the first thing I'm going to do is the framing. Before I get started adding the screws, I'm going to go ahead and put some pilot holes in. You can go ahead and add the screws. I'm getting ready to do now that I got my framing all screwed together. But one thing I had to do, instead of using the other screws that I used, I ended up going with these deck make screws. These are the same screws that I used to make my bed. But I am getting ready to go in with this one by three across the top so I'm going to end up placing probably four screws across the top here and this piece right here is what I'm going to end up hanging uh, the bed up on the wall with and now that I've got this top piece right here on I'm going to take and turn the frame over and then place the uh, hardwood board on the other side of the frame. Also ended up doing is adding a board on the inside right here. Okay, lovey, since I've gotten this piece right here added onto the framing, I've gone ahead and put down my hardboard and I'm getting ready to screw it down. Here's the piece of wood that I'm going to add across the center of the back part of the bed. I'm going to go ahead and use my drill bit for pilot holes and go ahead and place holes where I'm going to be placing my tufty. Okay, so now that I've gone ahead and drilled my holes through the panel so that I know where to place my tough thing, I also went ahead and stapled down the, my phone. This is one of the queen size phone pads from uh, Walmart. I'm getting ready to use this Loctite spray. Um, I, here I am just showing you guys where I have attached the fabric on the back side. That is the front side of it. The fabric is not long enough, so I bought two pieces. And here I'm going to connect the other piece. And I'm getting ready to go ahead and do my tough thing. What I'm going to go ahead and do is just poke my needle through so I know where to put the uh, tough thing. The needle is just to give me a guide as to where I need to staple. Coming over here to the next one, I'm doing the same thing, letting the needle give me a guide as to where I'm going to place my tufting. Just a view in a minute. That's my needle, stapler, pull the needle back, put the stapler there, and to give you guys a closer dish. 
It's a tough one. Since the fabric was not long enough, what I did was took and tuck this piece up under and just place this piece under here like that. Place this needle through here to hold it up. And I'm going to get ready to staple it down. I've gotten the tuffing done. I'm getting ready to go in with these gems right here that comes from Walmart. Well, lovies, this is the completed queen size headboard. Lovies. As you all can see, I've gone ahead and placed this 2 by 8 board right here. I'm going to place one on that end down there. I attached it with three screws, one here, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and place some batting to cover up the edges, mainly. And then I'm going to take the same black fabric and cover the 2 by 8 board. I'm going to attach it back here with staples. Okay, I want to try and show you guys what, what it is that I'm doing with my edge here. I went ahead and tacked it down, stapled it down right there. Okay, lovey, so I'm getting ready to start with a frame. And I'm going to go ahead and start drilling pilot holes and then attach my screws. But I have gotten my framing together. I'm going to go ahead and add a two by four right there and over there on that side to hold my slats. Now I am using these two pieces right here as a guide as to how far I want my two by four to sit down. This actually is the top side of the framing. I'm going to be flipping the whole frame over and before I do that I'm going to add my legs. <laughs> The bed, the headboard has not been hung. Ahead and added legs to the to the bed. The only thing left to do is to cover the framing with the black fabric and to add the slats. I have taken a mark where I'm going to cut my slats. I have three more to cut. Okay, this is what I'm using to hang the bed. This is the same thing that I used to hang my bed when I made it, but this here is a 75 pound one. The one that I used was a 200 pound one, even though the bed didn't weigh 200 pounds. And this one here is much smaller, but this is called a cleat. This is called a cleat because of the way that it fits together. One piece goes on the wall and one piece goes on the bed. The leveler goes right there. You take and hang this piece on the wall and this piece on the bed. Then you have to lift the bed up and bring it down into the cleat. This here is the completed bed before I actually place the mattress on. Hello, lovey. This turned out beautifully. My daughter is pleased with it. She loves it. She told me that she was happy that I am her mother <laughs> because I made her be it. No, seriously. She said she loves me and she loves the fact that I'm her mother because a lot of kids don't have a mother like me. Those were her words, not mine. I want to try and get a little bit closer with you guys so you all can see actually see the bed. That's the footboard. That's the side of it. It turned out really nicely.
Well, lovies, it's time to go. And I'm praying for you guys. And you know what my main prayer is, is that if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior and your Lord, you will make him your personal Savior and your Lord today. I love you guys. And as always in parting, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed.